what is the current state of the Pokemon market today? In this two part series, I know, two parts, crazy i'm a rap bastard we are going to be looking at multiple different card categories and going over their top tens this will include alt arts specifically from the sword and shield era full art trainers trainer galleries illustration rares secret illustration rare pokemon and secret illustration rare trainers from the scarlet and violet era first starting off with alt arts we have the galarian moltres from the chilling rain set now this card currently goes for 126 dollars and 73 cents its highest point was in March of 2023, sitting at 142.14, and then has slowly began to fall, where its lowest point hit $117.83 in September. Really only went up about $9 from September, but where this card is at is probably going to be its medium for quite a while. Unfortunately, when it comes to these markets, you really can't tell what's going to happen. You start seeing cards that slowly go up and you're thinking, oh man, this shit's going to continue. And then it drops. You start seeing cards dropping. You're like, oh, maybe it's going to go up. Go, it keeps going. You never know how to predict the market. But then in our number nine spot, we have the Espeon VMAX Alt Art. This one from Fusion Strike sitting at 126.98. Back in April, it hit its highest point at 155.34. And then in December, Christmas time of last year, went to 119.50. So dropped about $30 and has gone up just a little bit, sitting at where it is today. This is a card that's been slowly falling over time, just like the Maltres. Currently sits at a nice and cozy medium, 130. Isn't really a bad price in my opinion. I do think this card is very underrated and could easily get to $200 considering it's the only evolution in Fusion Strike. And as I said a million times before, if you want all the evolutions, you're going to have to get this card and you can only get it in Fusion Strike, which is known for being a hard set to get pulls from. In our number eight spot, we have the Sylveon VMAX from Evolving Skies. Of course, this is going to be a set that gets talked about multiple times this video. Currently sitting at 134.67, it hit its highest point in November of last year at $142 and hit its lowest point in September sitting at 126.75. So basically this card was going down in value, went up and then went back down. These jumps really are only about $10 to $20. So realistically, it's stayed pretty consistent throughout the past year. Really not that much movement at all with this card. Sitting at number seven, we have the Glaceon VMAX at $146.65. Back in November, it was at a low of 136.46. And then in January of this past year, hit 150.21, which has been its highest point for the past year. I remember when this card was actually hovering around 180 strong and was considered to be a really collectible popular card because of the Pikachu ice skating, possibly going to fall to its death. You know, you, you don't know. And this card has kind of dropped and we're, what we're kind of seeing is that a lot of these alt arts have dropped in value. Most likely this is a good time to get these cards. I'm not gonna try to convince anybody because again, you cannot time the market. These cards really are going down, kinda hit a standstill, kinda staying mid-range. So anything could really happen. They could shoot up, they could go back down and just continue. You really can't control the market, but what you wanna do is look for cards that are lower than what they were. And if you're willing to put that money down on that, hey, if it goes down another 10 bucks, oh well. You got the card at least. If it goes up 20, now you're spending an extra 20 bucks. Sitting in our sixth spot, we have the Leafeon VMAX, AKA Country Boys Make Do. Or is it Country Girls Make Do? Whatever the corn cob meme 
is. That's kind of disgusting. This card currently sits at $162.51. Back in September, it dropped to $143. And then its highest point reached was in November of last year at 174.55. Has actually stayed pretty consistent. A lot of movement, but really it's only $10 away from what it was a couple months ago, which isn't too bad. It's just staying the course. Then in our number five spot, we got the Blaziken VMAX at $170.60. Another card from Chilling Rain. This card I actually really dislike. I never cared for this card whatsoever. I always thought the Moltres was such a better card. But it's a VMAX. And as we all know, the Alt Art VMAXs are actually harder to get than your Alt Art Vs. In May of 2023, this card was sitting at $227.70. And then dropped down $110 to $161.80 in November and has only gone up $10 to where it's at right now. So pretty crazy. It held a pretty high spot and then immediately dropped still close to around 200 bucks, which kind of makes it a hard buy, at least for me, because I never cared for the card. But at least it's not 200 bucks. In our fourth spot, we got the Gengar VMAX from Fusion Strike sitting at $201.12. Since. Last year in February, it was actually at its lowest point, which was at $176.66. And this past year in January, a full year has hit its highest point at $218.22. This is a card that has been slowly going up and then unfortunately has dropped a couple dollars because we're now in end of february so obviously it's not at 218 anymore but it's still holding at a positive 200 dollars which is pretty hefty for a gangar v max card either way it's gorgeous it's one of the fan favorites the most expensive card in the fusion strike set so take it as you will in our number three spot we got the rayquaza v max sitting at 249 dollars and 77 cents this card was at its highest point in april of last year at 30306 and then in january of this past year has dropped to 238.31 this is a card that has slowly dropped over the time frame and it's a lot it's practically 60 70 bucks that it's dropped but again it has gone up a couple dollars about ten dollars in the number two spot i bet you probably can guess it we got the garatina v at 258 dollars and 86 cents now in march of last year it was at its highest point at 331.89 and then december of last year christmas time which is kind of crazy because you'd think christmas time would be when cards go up it actually was at its lowest point at 235.25 so this is another card that just like the rayquaza v max has slowly slowly dropped in value it is a card that kind of this is a tough one it's a card that in my opinion is a little overrated has always been one of the most expensive ones and i guess you know lost origin was a really good set had a lot of great cards but as far as the alt arts this was the card to get and uh it's it's a gorgeous card a lot of shit on it garatina shitting all over the card basically what it is and it's a gorgeous one but for 300 bucks ridiculous for where it's at right now 258 sitting right with the rayquaza maybe 10 bucks more this really isn't a bad buy right now in my opinion as far as where it's gonna go Again, it's up to debate. This card can still drop. Hopefully it does, because I still need it. <laughs> but I wouldn't hold my breath if it just stayed where it's at. Maybe dropped 10, went up 10. I really don't see any of these cards really shooting up and making a run for it. I don't see these cards just plummeting. In our number one spot, I'm sure you already know, it's the Umbreon VMAX, the Moonbreon at $542.99. In April of last year, it was at its highest point at 652 dollars 
and then hit its lowest point last year in October at $491.50. Since then, it has jumped up about 50 bucks. Really, the charts for the whole year of this card has stayed pretty consistent with a lot of movement. So what that means is this card was, say it's here, fucking up, down, up, down, up, down, and still stays here. Like, it's, it's really never, like, it stayed the course. Just really off the fucking course, right? So, another card, it's the most expensive alt art. It's probably gonna stay that way. I can't see any other alt art surpassing it. I can't see this card dropping so low that it gets close to the Giratina V or the Rayquaza V. It's one of those, in a way, Holy Grail cards from the Sword and Shield era. So really this card I personally think will always hold a very strong value, just kind of like the Lily. Spoiler alert. <laughs> if you're looking to buy this card, I would probably wait till it drops down to 500. Um, but again, 500 for a card is pretty ridiculous. Now, just so you're aware, there are a lot of other factors that come into play that I am not going over. For instance, what is the movement with these cards as far as buying, selling? Are a lot of cards getting bought? Are no cards getting bought? Are some cards getting bought? I can't give you that information. Uh, I could go on eBay, sold listings, but again, I'm a rap bastard. I don't give a shit about that. I am just giving you my stone cold lock of the century of the week based on the price range, telling you what the price range is for the past year, where it's at with its highest, where it's at with its lowest, and you make the decision there, bud, because I, you listen to me, your house is going under, your children are going under six through, <laughs> your children are going six feet under in the ground because you can't afford to feed them. Very dark, I know, uh, that's how we do it here with the support of Lego. Now switching on over to the full art trainers, in our 10th spot we have the Iris card from Plasma Blast. This is actually an XY era card, a very gorgeous card at that. This card currently sits at $122.60. In March it hit its lowest point of $98.85 and this was obviously March of 2023 last year. And then as of December has hit its highest point at 137.89. So this is a card that has gone up a lot and then has dropped a little bit and basically staying the course pretty consistent. So not too much movement there. Again, it's an XY era card. And honestly, if you could get one of these cards for $100 near mint, it really isn't a bad idea in my opinion because XY cards are so hard to get in near mint condition, especially full art trainers, something that like not a lot of people gave a shit about when they first came out. So it's definitely one of those things I imagine people probably like treated them like full art Pokemon or I, I don't know, just they didn't really treat them all that great. I could tell you if you did, oh my God. In our ninth spot, we have the Cynthia and Caitlyn tag team card from Cosmic Eclipse. This card is very similar to Iris on how it went, basically shot up a lot, dropped a little bit, staying consistent, currently sitting at 127.12. Its lowest point was in April of last year at 95.62, and then in August it hit its highest point at 159.38, so has actually dropped a decent amount. It's gone up a decent amount, dropped a decent amount. You know, you're looking at a gain of like $65 and then drops basically 30. Crazy, pretty crazy. It's a lot of movement, but it's a lot of time that's passed. It's a gorgeous card from the Sun and Moon era, showcasing two women, showcasing two females. What could go wrong? Then in our eighth spot, we have another XY Air card, the Bianca card, sitting at $128.99. This is a card that at its lowest point was in October, sitting at $113.30. It really isn't that low, about like 15 bucks, lower than what it is now. And its highest point was in August of last year at $163.48. So this was a card that was climbing, fell down the fucking mountain, and now is slowly beginning to climb again. Will it? 
I don't know, but I will say it's an XY era card. I would not sleep on any XY era cards. I got to start buying the XY era cards because I really think they can only go so far. I remember when I was trying to buy a Archie's Ace in the Hole card, I swear to God, everywhere I looked, it was all lightly played. I could not find a near mint. And somehow, by the graces of God, I was able to find one. And it was weird because it's like a $10, $15 card, but to get it in near mint, like I was going past eBay listings that wanted like 30, 40 bucks. Just ridiculous pricing. In our seventh spot, we have the Erica's Hospitality at $130.88 from the Team Up set. This one has been climbing up and holding pretty strong. Its lowest point was in February of last year, a full year, at $77.79. And then its highest point reached was in November at 138.20. Since then, really has only dropped $8. And really, $10 isn't a drop. It's consistent. Very, very consistent. So, definitely a card that is not moving at all. In our sixth spot, we have Misty's Favor, a card from Unified Minds. This card I really thought was going to be a big fan favorite, but surprisingly not as much as other cards have been. I really thought Misty being like one of the most famous like females in all of Pokemon would be like a fucking go-getter. Like everyone would want this fucking card uh, <laughs> with the crop top, but I guess not. Like really kind of disrespectful this card currently sits at 168.91 and then its lowest point was in february of last year at 137.17 and really it just slowly just kept climbing this is a card that has shot up and then just stayed the course for the most part its highest point was in october at 184.08 and really has only dropped maybe $15 at its most. So it's a card that's still staying close to 170, which is not a bad price at all. Again, this is a card that I could easily see hitting 200 bucks pairing with the Rosa, but I guess more people like Rosa, what can I say? Speaking of Rosa, just kidding, she's not number five. Number five, we have the insane Lily's Full Force. I've never seen a white woman, a blondie, probably a swifty run this fucking fast basically like she's getting chased at nighttime that's what she's running she's hauling ass but like, even her just regular uh full art is running full force like I, I don't know why they always draw her running but this is a card that has been just slowly climbing from cosmic eclipse this card currently sits at 173.03 its lowest point was in February of last year at 82.28, and its highest point was actually this past month in January at 180.94. I actually remember this card used to be around $50, and I was really thinking in my head, you know, I can't see this card really going up all that much. When the full art craze hit, I knew it was going to go up a little bit, but I didn't think it'd go to the extent it did. And it was a card that I was like, ah, I'll probably wait for it a little bit. I don't want to pay that much for that kind of card. So I thinking I saw it at $30 at one point, you know, maybe I'll wait till it dropped. It never dropped. News alert. <laughs> it, it slapped me in the face and just kept going. She hauled ass from me, basically. This card, a $50 card peaking at $170 is pretty fucking ridiculous in the span of a year or maybe a little bit over a year just ridiculous in the fourth spot we have skyla from boundaries cross this is another xy era card the most expensive xy era card sitting at 179.33 this is actually its lowest price as of the past year believe it or not right now this is the lowest it's ever been in the past year crazy its highest point was actually in july of last year at 214.21 really it just took the form of a mountain like, like I, I don't know how to describe it basically went up stayed a little down really still holding strong though at 180 it only dropped 30 dollars, but it's been at 180 for quite a while practically two years without movement it used to be, funny enough, it used to be the second most expensive full art trainer right behind Lily. 
and that's in fourth place. At number three, we have Rosa from Cosmic Eclipse sitting at 196.61 on the verge of crossing $200. This is a card that in March, it was at its lowest point at 149.14 and its highest point in October of last year, believe it or not, at 230.46. So it actually did at one point cross the $200 threshold. Basically, it gone up, it dropped a little, and now it's sitting steady. I wouldn't be surprised if this card just kind of sits around the $200 range. I don't see crazy movement with this card. Really, if anything, it might actually go down in value depending on if a lot of people are still all that crazy about floor trainers. It's a gorgeous card, but will people pay over $200 for this card? I don't know. I actually don't know. Would I? Probably not. In second place, we... <laughs> In second place, we have the Lisa, Elysia, Lisa, I think, what, I don't know, uh, from Celestial Storm. This is basically your cosplay dancer guru girl that has somehow came from like last place to second place. I don't know. She really jumped up in price. This card currently sitting at 268.87, and it's the same deal as the Rosa. It just shot up dropped a little and is staying pretty steady its lowest point was in march of last year at 180.56 that's like fucking 90 dollars <laughs> it shot up 90 dollars its highest point was in august at 292.75 so you're actually talking a card that from march to august basically went up 110 dollars Finally, in our number one spot, I think you could probably guess what it is. It is Wally and his slow little ass uh, sitting on a patch of grass. I don't know, holding a dandelion. What the fuck does Wally do? No, it, it's it's Lily. It's the white chick, Lily, uh, from Ultra Prism, the god tier set that just keeps giving. This card currently sitting at $444.01. Just to be a little bit extra. Its lowest point was in February of last year, sitting at 325.89. And its highest point was in September, crazily passing the $500 mark at $521. I don't even know if crazily is a crazy word. It ain't a word, that's for sure. But again, this is a card that just acts like a mountain. Shot up, stayed, went down a bit. Still holding really, really great value at 440 bucks. Not a bad price. I can see this card still holding strong, kind of matching in a way like the Umbreon for the alt arts. It is the leader and it is holding strong. I think Lisa is kind of catching close. I can see Lisa hit like a $300 mark, but I think if that's the case, Lily's gonna surpass 500 when that happens. It's just an iconic card. It's a Starbucks girl. I, I don't know what to explain it as. It's just a, a white woman running with her Starbucks in a dark alley. To finish out this video, we are going to be going over the trainer gallery cards. In the next video, we'll be talking about Galarian Gallery because that something separate. I'll do it for you guys, okay? We'll be going over the illustration rares, the secret uh, the SIRs, Pokemon SIR trainers with, with, with Scarlet and Violet in the next video. So probably you guys won't be watching that. <laughs> in our 10th spot, we have the Piplup card. Probably a card you weren't expecting, believe it or not, but it's a gorgeous card at that from the Cosmic Eclipse set. The first set to actually introduce trainer gallery cards. Currently sitting at 1402 in October, it hit its lowest point at 1385, and then in September, it hit its highest point at 1687. Really, this is only like a difference of $3. So if you could call this movement, then God bless you, but really, this isn't all that much movement. A lot of these trainer gallery cards have kind of stayed in a similar path as far as like. You know, the Cosmic Eclipse ones. Uh, Sword and Shield is kind of like a crazy one at that. You'll see a lot of these cards actually dropping in value, but they're kind of staying consistent where, where they're at right now. So they could potentially go up. All depends. In our ninth spot, we have the Umbreon V from Brilliant Stars. This was when they reintroduced the Trainer Gallery. 
at 1445 hit its lowest point in December of last year at $12.06 and hit its highest point in March of last year at $16.85. Really, this card hasn't been doing much movement. And funny enough, it actually kind of looks like breasts in the chart. <laughs> Weird to say. Uh, it just, it goes, does a little whoop, goes, a little whoop, goes. Next up, we have the Sylveon VMAX from Brilliant Stars sitting at 1688. Its lowest point was in October at 1450, and its highest point was in March as well at 1967. This is a card that unfortunately has just kind of dipped a little bit. Again, these cards aren't really moving a lot, they're kind of staying within like a five dollar range, which again isn't really much of a change. So, really, these cards aren't too bad to buy if they're holding pretty consistent that's actually a pretty safe bet to be honest with you again it's a pretty cheap card it's under 20 bucks then in our seventh spot we have the garchomp v basically making out with cynthia on the god throne i don't know this card currently goes for 1881 from the astral radiance set its lowest point was in october at 1714 dropped a dollar from what it is right now. Its highest point was actually 27.53, which was around March time. So this card has actually done nothing but drop in value. How much did it drop? 10 bucks. Are you gonna cry over 10 bucks? I would, <laughs> but maybe even now I would. If I lost 10 bucks, I kinda would cry, but not a bad price. And weirdly enough, as far as like the Astral Radiance set goes, it's not really a hot set right now. Like a lot of the alt arts are going down in value tremendously. I don't think there's any full art trainers that are saving that set. And the trainer galleries are kind of doing weird. It's like they're low, but they're still at like a high point. It, it's kind of hard to explain. Like out of everything, the trainer galleries didn't drop the worst best way I can put it. Then we have the Pikachu V from the Lost Origin set sitting at 1983. At first I thought this was the one with, uh, was it Misty? The, the like Ancient Origins Misty and Pikachu laying together uh, in the like the death pose. It kind of, it kind of gave off that like vibe that like, you know when the asteroid hit the dinosaurs and then all, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Basically they look like they got like burned alive in like a dying skeleton pose, like spooning. It hit its lowest point in December at 1891 and then at its highest point was at 3363 in March. This is a card that has only gone down in price, but has gone up a dollar at least from its lowest point, so that, that's a thing. But really it's not it's not doing much it's just kind of dropping 10 bucks is a drop 10 bucks is a drop i don't know what to tell you next up we have the umbreon v max card from brilliant stars in the fifth spot at 2310 in april it was at its lowest point at 20 dollars and 32 cents and then in august of last year hit its highest point at 32.28 this is a card that's kind of weird it was going in April it dipped, went back up a little bit, going, shot up in uh, August, went down, staying the course. I don't know, it really hasn't moved all that much to be honest with you. It's still sitting pretty close around the $20 range. Again, it's another card that really only dropped like 10 bucks. Not a big deal. Then we have the Rayquaza VMAX in the fourth spot from Silver Tempest at 3166 in October of last year was at 2719 and then at its highest point was in March of last year at 4224 honest to god I don't even remember this card hitting the $40 spot I could have swore this card was like 30 bucks if I even remember this card correctly I think what is it Zinnia is kind of like showing off her ass like staring up into the sky like and then the, the Whismer or whatever the hell is like fucking dead and gone from the uh, <laughs> Rikraza V alt art card. Like, I don't, I don't know what the fuck happened to Whismer or however the hell you pronounce that guy's name. It's just another card that really hasn't moved all that much. Just 10 bucks. If that, listen, if you're going to bitch to me about $10, 
What could you buy with ten dollars? In our third spot, we have the Pikachu V Max sitting at thirty two sixty four. In December, it was at its lowest point at twenty nine ninety eight. And crazy enough, its highest point was in March at 56.27. Has done nothing but go down, sadly. Just went from here, clear, down. And really, it's still holding pretty great value. At 30 bucks, it is not a bad price. I feel bad for the people that paid $50 for this. I think I pulled this out of the Lost Origins booster box. So thankfully, I never had to buy it. But it's a really great card. I love red. I love fat fucking Pikachu. Uh, perfect card. In our second spot, we have the Starmie V from Astral Radiance. Of course, it's a Misty card in her bathing suit. Do you really think this card is in second place because it's Starmie? They should just put Misty V. That's why it's so expensive, probably. I don't know. This card currently sits at thirty-seven thirty-nine. In May of last year, was at its lowest point at thirty-one fourteen. And in August of last year, hit its highest point at 55.36. This card is your volcano. Went like this, up, kind of like a plane. But even then, is still holding pretty strong, around $40, which is pretty crazy. Would I buy this for 40 bucks? No, I actually bought it at $30 or 25. I was like, yeah, I got really pissed off because in my mind, this card was not worth the money. Uh, but eventually Misty gets to you as it does all of us poor vulnerable men. Finally, in our number one spot, can you guess what it is? No, you're wrong. It's not Nessa's fucking feet. You sick fuck. It is Pikachu from Cosmic Eclipse. The first ever depiction we got of Pikachu and Red and some Pokeballs. It is a dope card. It's when Red first chose Pikachu, which I don't remember that ever happening in the comics, but I don't know. This card currently sits at 38.23, and man, has it been a roller coaster. In January of this past year, it was at its lowest point at 34.78, and then at May of last year, it was at its highest point at 44.58. This card has been going down, unfortunately, but it has gone up a little bit in recent times. This card has basically been doing this, but ever so slowly sneaking its way down. And we're starting to see it like curl up a little bit, maybe a couple bucks, but it's still kind of making its way down. Will it actually continue to fall? I don't know. It's the most expensive trainer gallery from the Cosmic Eclipse set. Probably one of the most favorite ones, the famous ones, the most iconic ones. Uh, really, really dope. I mean, all the Cosmic Eclipse trainer gallery cards are iconic, but this one, chef's kiss. But besides that, that's it. I wipe my hands clean. I'm not here to convince you to buy anything, sell anything, maybe sell your organs. That's a possible possibility uh, you could probably make some good money off of organs so if you, you have to like sell them the black market it's a weird thing like really shittily enough this is very random but like i think you could sell your nut like your ball if you're a guy uh you could sell like your right testicle for like a hundred grand but the amount of money like the government will take you only walk away with 30 g's is it really that like worth it like they take your ball is it really worth 30 grand i don't know but in the next part, we'll be going over the other different types of cards, I guess, with uh, so-and-so. I don't even know. I hope this was enjoyable. I hope you got something out of it. Maybe not. Doesn't matter. I will see you in the next part, unless you hate my guts, in which case, 